Welcome to Bible study. Soul Sister One. Finding Rest. A soul resting in God says, I don't need to know the details. I need to trust in God. Trust that at the right time, God will make things clear in his timing. He may not answer all the what's, why's, and how's in our timing, but he will eventually make it clear. The only way to find rest for your soul is by entering a spiritual rest. The only way to enter a spiritual rest is by trusting in God. Our soul is where the spiritual battles are taking place. They are constantly pulling our thoughts, emotions, wills. When we trust, pray, and wait on God, we will find rest for our soul. He will lead, guide, and never leave nor forsake us because that's what he promised us in Deuteronomy 31 6 all the noise and all the thoughts and emotions will come under su submission of the supernatural peace of God which is found in his rest if you seek only direction rest in him he can't, you can't hear God and wait on him. If we are consumed with all your thoughts and your busyness, the world says work, worry, and wonder. But the spirit of the soul sister says wait, worship, and watch. Think about it. One. Think about a time where you went from work, war, and wonder to wait, worship, and watch. To what are some ways that you can command your soul to rest? Psalm 62 1 says, Truly my soul finds rest in God, my salvation comes from Him. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends an all understanding, with what will guard your hearts and your minds in, in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I hope you have a blessed day. And see you on the next one. Bye.